absolutely fantastic. One of the Earth's most dangerous kaiju has been discovered, and he is angry. Essay's Figure Arts, Red King. This standard Thomas release does a fantastic job bringing to life Red King with a fantastic sculpt, paint apps, great accessories, and a full range of articulation. Before we find out how fantastic Red King is, give this video a like, share, subscribe, and shop HLJ. Red King is in the 6 inch scale standing a little over 6.5 inches tall and 7.5 inches head to tail. Red King looks great next to our other SH Figure Arts Ultraman figures as to be expected. Red King also looks great next to our SH Monster Arts figures and our 6-inch scale Chogokin figures from various lines. The scale checks out, now let's see how well Red King can move. Starting with the head, we can look up, down, left, right. Now the head is on an interesting hinge here. And as you can see when we tilt this all the way back, it exposes absolutely everything, which can be a little weird. Now for the mouth, due to this hinge system, the mouth is not really opening up, it's the top of the head as you can see there. You can move the lower jaw up and down, but as you can see, if you press it too much, it's going to cause the barbell to pop out of the slot. So this could be annoying, you have to kind of finesse and pop this back into place, so be aware, messing with the head can be a little bit of a pain point. The neck is comprised of several ball joints, can move very freely. In the upper chest, we can lean forward backward, twist side to side, and lean side to side. In the waist, we can lean forward, backward some, twist side to side, and lean side to side. The arms are on a very nice ball joint. They can rotate a full 360 degrees. The arms can come up to a little bit mm, past 45 degrees, not a full 90. Now an odd hiccup I notice on my figure, this shoulder pad ring here kind of free spins when it should stay in place, so do be aware of that. We have nice, I guess we'll call these double jointed elbows. We have a slight swivel in the elbows. The claws are on ball joints, so we can tilt and spin these pretty freely, but be aware these do tend to pop out a little too easy. Moving down to the legs, to get the full range of motion in the legs, we can actually pull down on the hip joint here giving us that full clearance. We can kick forward this much, backward this much, come up to the side this much. We have a thigh swivel, nice bend here in the knees. The feet can tilt and swivel. And then finally, we have our nice, thick, mid-sized tail comprised of several sturdy ball joints. This tail is very solid and very poseable. And thank goodness, we do not see a return of bendable wire. Remember, hashtag ball joints only. When it comes to sculpt and paint apps, Red King is absolutely fantastic. Starting from the top, we have our small scaly tan head sculpt that comes to a point. The eyes have a large black sculpt. Around the eyes, we have a textured scaly pattern with a metallic blue sheen. The teeth have a pearlescent textured semi-sharp sculpt. The inner mouth has a nice fleshy sculpt. Coming down from the neck to the chest, the scale pattern switches up seamlessly between smaller and longer scales. The chest has a very bulky, scaly sculpt. In between the scales, we can see light blue weathering. I really like all the depth you can see here. The arms have a bulky rib scaly sculpt. The legs have a thick, stubby scaly sculpt with a tighter scale pattern. The feet are large with a very simple textured sculpt. The tail has a thick, multi-segmented scaly sculpt. The scale pattern becomes smaller and the tail comes to a point as we reach the end of the tail. For accessories, first up we have a pair of fists. And then finally, we have our large, detailed, textured boulder. The hand connected to the boulder can be removed. Now, let's do some city building.
As a whole, Red King turned out to be absolutely fantastic. The sculpt is well done, the paintups are clean, we have good accessories, and Red King is fully posable. I feel like maybe we should have gotten a few more accessories with Red King to round out this release. Maybe some more rocks, or some explosive fist effect parts, or something like that. What do you guys think? Either way, I enjoyed this release, and I highly recommend picking up Red King. Now, how much does Red King cost? I imported my SH Figure Arts Red King from Hobby Link Japan for $56, which is totally worth it. Red King is in stock at HLJ right now. Click the link on screen right now or in the description to pick up your Red King today. To see more SH Figure Arts Ultraman reviews or learn about the buildings I use in my reviews, click the links on screen right now. Be sure to follow me on social media, definitely follow me on Twitch, and I'll see you guys in the next review.